Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you how you can download stuff from the internet to buy your software made in Visual Studio. And I'm gonna be using Visual Basic as the language. And just name a project, whatever you named it. Um, so you can, I'm gonna be making a small software that downloads something from my website. So whenever the user is gonna click on the download button, I'm gonna be writing the comments for what will happen. So first of all, I type in my dot computer dot network dot download file. Now you're gonna be typing in the um, URL. So uh, this is just I don't know what this is, is but for example I'm gonna be using WordPress.org and one of these and now you gotta specify the download location so let's say I'm gonna be downloading it that here so Make a text file. Make sure that this extension and this is same. So let's debug. So when we click on download, our file will get downloaded, and there you go. All the stuff from the website is now downloaded. You can also download other stuff like. Uh, pictures dot png it's gonna be seen just change the url and make sure that this is gonna be dot png and let's click on download uh, image file is downloaded there you go so it's really simple but there's another thing you can do 10 seconds if the thing doesn't download in 10 seconds it's gonna about the downloading process so, so it, it might come in handy let's talk about some errors now I've already downloaded it once so if I click again it's gonna be an error so the way to fix that is to delete the file that's been downloaded by so my god and it's gonna be this location so the file gets deleted and downloaded again it, it might be okay for the second time you're doing it but like for the first time where there is no file at all if you click on start, there's gonna be an error because there's no file to delete. So a good thing could be that you can make an file by default with the same name and it's empty but it's gonna work. The old file gets deleted, new file gets created and the stuff gets downloaded to it okay there you go and also maybe it's not good for like complicated programs and all there are other methods to download things like uh, when you're updating your program this might not be the best way to do it but for downloading information and stuff I think it's a really simple way and uh, the built-in codes are right here Visual Basic make, make things really easy and also for making simple functions this code is really useful so um, thanks a lot for watching and sorry that it's been a while since I'm uploading and I know like I've been like learning a new language so like didn't get much time to make videos sorry about that but I'll keep making more and gonna make things really simple for you guys 
also if you want me to teach you mobile app making apps for android you can comment below if you really want, want me to make tutorials on that so thanks a lot for watching leave a like and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video